going on, everybody? Welcome to the Vikings Now by Chat Sports. My name is Patrick Seatman, and first off, just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys watching today's video. It's one of my favorite holidays. You just get to sit back and watch some football, eat some good food, and hang out, you know, with your loved ones. And I will say this, Vikings fans, I am the biggest Packers fan of all time today. They're taking on the Lions here in a couple of hours, and if the Vikings want a chance to win this division you guys got to be rooting for the Packers as well. But coming up on today's edition of Vikings Now, we're going over three roster moves that the Vikings have made and then also diving into the idea of the Vikings possibly signing Shaq Leonard after he was released by the Indianapolis Colts, one of the best linebackers in the league over the past six seasons. And he was shockingly released by the Colts. Obviously, he was in and out of the lineup this year, but it was still a bit of a shocker to us Um you know, us that he was released. So we'll be diving into that at the tail half of today's video. But first off, I got to make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. We're going to be going live. Vikings Bears, Monday night football, an hour before kickoff. So you guys aren't going to want to miss it. Our watch parties are a ton of fun here. We have a couple beers, do some live play-by-play, -play, and it's a good time. So if you guys want to help us out, hit that sub button and lock us in as your go-to Vikings YouTube channel. All right, let's dive into the roster moves. So the biggest one they made, um, they elevated Sheldon Day, the defensive tackle from the practice squad to the 53-man roster. And he's been uh, he's been called up twice already this season, and he's played honestly pretty solid in the two games he was called up. Um, the Vikings do need some depth at the defensive line. It's kind of been like it's either Harrison Phillips or bust. Like we've seen Kyrus Tonga step in. He's been pretty solid in moments, but overall it's just a – Kind of a mediocre group at the defensive line spot besides Harrison Phillips. So just adding another name like Sheldon Day to the rotation this week against the Bears could be big because the Bears actually do have the fourth best rushing offense in the entire National Football League. So they're going to need Sheldon Day out there to uh, kind of help man that front a little bit. So they did bring him up from the practice squad to the 53-man roster. And the Vikings actually made two additions to the practice squad in signing two receivers. One guy we're very familiar with him, Tristan Jackson. I'm actually a big fan of Tristan Jackson. He's a wide receiver out of Syracuse. And he's been obviously in and out of the lineup. I mean, he's been on the 53-man, it feels like, 20 times over the past two seasons. Um, anytime there's an injury to the wide receiver group, he's the guy the Vikings call up. And I'm honestly shocked that he hasn't been kind of poached to another active um, roster in the NFL because anytime he's gotten in there, he's made plays. Like, he is a very solid receiver. He doesn't do anything special, but he's just an okay route runner. He's got okay hands. He's just Mr. O reliable. Um, and the Vikings wide receiver coach is obviously very, very, uh, you know, big fans of what Tristan Jackson does. So he's going back to the practice squad this week. He might get called up on game day. He's got one more game day elevation um, left. So it's going to be interesting to see if he does get called up, but probably going to come down to see if Justin Jefferson plays. If Jefferson doesn't go, expect Tristan Jackson to be called up. But if he, did go, if he does go, expect TJ to remain on the practice squad. Then they also added Dalen Baldwin. Um, he was a former receiver who played at Michigan. He's about six foot two. Um, has been very limited time in the NFL. He actually started off at a D2 college. So he's got a pretty cool story about how he kind of fought his way up. But he ended up playing at Michigan for a couple of years, um, and now he's with the Vikings practice squad. But he's a six foot two receiver. He's got good size to him. Uh, not the fastest guy in the world, but just another kind of you know depth piece at that receiver position because you know KJ Osborne dealt with that concussion. You know we know Jalen Naylor has been in and out of the lineup. You know Brandon Powell and Jordan Addison are really the only two guys who have been you know consistently healthy throughout the entire NFL season. So those are the three roster moves the Vikings made. Signed Sheldon Day to the 53-man 53, 53 and put um, Tristan Jackson and Dalen Baldwin to the practice squad, two receivers joining that group. But I want to dive in now to Shaq Leonard, um, the Colts or former Colts linebacker. He was released and he cleared waivers. So now he is a complete free agent. Any team in the NFL can sign him. And Honestly, with the, where the Vikings stand right now, I think they should definitely consider it because, you know, Jordan Hicks was our best linebacker this year, and he's on IR. He's going to miss the next three games at least. Um, and the Vikings are very thin at that position. I mean, we kind of got desperate and brought back Anthony Barr in that spot. So right now, the way it kind of shakes out, we got Ivan Pace, Anthony Barr, Troy Dye, and Brian Asamoah. And Brian Asamoah is still dealing with that ankle injury. And Troy Dye just, frankly, isn't really, you know, that that good at football. So, I mean, there's a reason he's been on this team for five years now and has never really gotten consistent reps. And even when he's gotten consistent reps, he just really hasn't been 
that good. Anthony Barr played in spots last week against the Broncos. Wasn't really trying or couldn't really get a full evaluation on how he played, but it's pretty much right now it's Ivan Pace and Brian Osamo who's banged up. So Shaq Leonard honestly makes a lot of sense. And I can see the Vikings, you know, not signing him in a desperation move, but just kind of, you know, filling a position of need. And, you know, Shaq Leonard's a hell of a player. I mean, he was an all pro in 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021. Obviously, he has taken a step back over the past couple of years, but it kind of gets back to this point I made all the time, or I made a lot on this channel throughout the year is it's a Brian Flores effect. Like this Vikings defense is a top 12 unit in the NFL right now, uh, dating back to week three and every statistical uh, category dating back to week three, the Vikings are top 10 and it's just a Brian Flores effect. Because if you look at like the personnel that we had this year compared to last year, it's really not that entirely different. And last year, the Vikings were pretty much dead last in about everything. So I think Brian Flores could get the most out of Shaq Leonard, just like he's gotten the most out of Daniil Hunter, you know, DJ Wanham, Cam Bynum having a career year, you know, Caleb Evans really coming onto the scene, Makai Blackman, the third round rookie, you know, really playing well this season. So if you could get, you know, Shaq Leonard in with Brian Flores in that defense, I would, uh, I would absolutely love it. And, you know, Shaq Leonard, he actually had a pretty funny quote that I want to read out to you guys after he was released by the Colts he said apparently he asked for a meeting in November and he never really got it just talking about his playing time because he hasn't really been playing too much for the Colts this year and obviously he's a really good football player so he's going to want to you know play football but he said this he said I asked for a me or I asked for a November meeting I guess I got a November meeting I guess you sh you got to be careful for what you ask for so the Colts ended up releasing him he cleared through waivers so now he's a complete free agent, any NFL team can sign him. And I think the Vikings would be a very good fit for him. Because listen, the Vikings, if you want to get the most out of this year, you're going to have to rely on the defense. Like I love the Josh Dobbs story. I love, you know, even Jaron Hall when he got in there for a drive, like he looked pretty good for the Vikings. But if you're going to want to win games and make the playoffs and potentially win a playoff game, it's got to be on the back of Brian Flores. So just kind of get him more, you know, get him more bullets in the chamber per se. Like get him another guy like Shaq Leonard, who could be a tackling machine, very solid in coverage because, you know, the Vikings don't really have that type of linebacker, you know, that archetype where it's like, I am just a tackle junkie. Like our guy this year has been Cam Bynum. He's been the safety coming down in the box and he's been the one making plays. But if you could add in a guy like Shaq Leonard, I think it would do world, or I think it would do numbers for this defense. I think it would just change a lot of people's uh, lives on that side of the football where make Ivan Pace, you know, kind of be more of a playmaker instead of him having to take on kind of like the green dot uh, responsibilities. You could put that on the Shaq Leonard, obviously a very smart, intelligent football player. So I'd be all in on signing Shaq Leonard, but I got to get you guys involved on today's video. Would you sign Shaq Leonard? Give me an S for sign or a P for pass. Obviously, it's going to come down to numbers, but the Vikings cap space situation right now, they got $9 million to spend for the rest of the season. So maybe you just kind of, you know, give them a two-year deal for, I don't know, $20 million and you put, you know, $9 million this year, you put $4 million, a signing bonus. I don't know. You could get definitely creative um, with signing him and maybe give him a home for the short-term future. But because also, I wouldn't hate signing him to a multi-year deal. Um, but right now the report is coming out that the Eagles and Cowboys are interested in him. And this would just be such a Eagles signing. Like I want him to come to the Vikings, but if I had to call it right now, he's going to end up in Philadelphia. Like I'm kind of waiting every second to get that notification, um, on my phone where it's like, Oh, Shaq Leonard signs to the Eagles. It just seems like such a move they would make kind of a guy that, uh, you know, I feel like the Eagles just always sign guys that like. You know, aren't playing good with their teams and they end up getting released or traded or whatever and then they are have a completely rejuvenated year with the Eagles so that's kind of the news of the day uh Vikings make three roster moves and uh you know potentially they could sign Shaq Leonard and I would ask to be all in on it but happy Thanksgiving to everybody thank you guys so much for watching today's show hopefully you guys enjoy it with your friends and family we'll see you guys next time as always go Vikings